Hello everyone. On behalf of the Jackson family, let me welcome you to this celebration and homegoing of a giant for Christ. But before we get to our message this afternoon, would you join me in prayers? Father, thank you for a life that was lived to the fullest, to the glory of your name. Thank you for giving us an example on how to live our lives for you in the person of Sister Malila Jackson. Thank you for blessing us with her presence, for us to have shared in her life. Thank you for bringing us together here this afternoon safely and we pray that at the end of this ceremony that you would also lead us home to our respective homes safely. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Sister Malila Jackson accepted Christ at a very tender age of 12 years old. And from that point forward, Sister Jackson walked tirelessly and touched many lives for the kingdom of God. And she did it with faith and hope. I know you must be asking what hope? The word hope comes from the Greek word El peace. Translated, it means expectation or to look forward with confidence to good and something beneficial. To that effect, we go to John chapter 14, verses 1 through 3. And he reads, Do not let your heart be troubled. You believe in God, you believe in me also. For in my Father's house there are many mansions. If it were not so, I would not have told you. For I go to prepare a place for you. And when I prepare a place for you, I will come and receive you to myself. So that where I am, there you will be also. That is the hope that we have in Christ. That is the hope that Sister Malala Jackson had in Christ. A hope to spend eternity with God. A, a hope to spend eternity with Christ. A hope to spend eternity where there is no more worry about heart attacks, about kidney failures and heart failures, about all kinds of cancers, where there will be no more crying or gnashing of teeth, where we rejoice and worship the Almighty God, the Holy One, day in, day out. What a glorious day that would be when we get to spend eternity in the presence of the Almighty God. That is the hope that we have in Christ. But for that to happen, ladies and gentlemen, we must give ourselves and our salvation must come through the finished work of Jesus Christ on the cross. That is the only way we secure that hope. Our text this afternoon from 1 Thessalonians it says that if we believe that Jesus Christ died and rose from the dead, even so, God will bring with him those who sleep in Christ Jesus. In other words, whether we're alive or dead, when Christ comes back for us, we will be resurrected and we will go with him into heaven. That is the promise that we have in Christ. 
That is the hope we have in Christ. That is why no matter what's going on in our lives, no matter how bad it gets, we know that we have a better home. We have a better place to spend eternity away from the chaos and from the punishment and from uh, all, the, all the challenges of life. We leave all those behind because we're going to spend eternity in the presence of the Almighty God. That is the hope that we have. So I can make a couple of points this afternoon real quickly. Number one is that in order to secure that hope for eternal life, we must make, we must make a decision. We must make a decision to choose Christ or to reject Him. The choice is ours. The Bible says, For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son that whosoever believeth in Him will not perish but have everlasting life. That is the hope that we have in Christ. But in order to have that hope, you and I must make a decision. We must choose Him. You know, believe it or not, ladies and gentlemen, we have two choices. We can choose to spend eternity with Christ, with God, or we can choose to spend eternity away from God. The choice is ours. The choice is yours and the choice is mine. And Melilla Jackson, Sister Jackson, made her choice 70 years ago. So we have to make a choice. To choose Christ or to reject Christ. But the consequences of our choice, we do not have any options. Point number two. Because we do not know when Christ is coming. Nobody knows the day or time when Christ is going to return. Therefore... There is a sense of urgency that we must make that choice now. As a matter of fact, the death of our sister Jackson is a definite demonstration of the urgency and the inevitability of death. Therefore, ladies and gentlemen, we must make that decision now. Today is as good as any other day to make a decision to choose Christ before it's too late. Because when we have drawn our last breath, it's already too late. We have a sense of urgency to make a decision now. That is what Sister Jackson is telling us to do. By her death, by her life, and by her death, she's telling us the choice is now. We have to make a decision. We have to choose Christ in order to secure our hope for eternity. Because we don't know when Christ is going to come back. And when the trumpet sound, ladies and gentlemen, it's already too late to make a choice at that point. Because he's only coming to take those who have already made that choice and have put their faith in him. We still have time while we still have breath. We have to choose have to choose Christ to spend eternity with God. That is the legacy that Sister Malala Jackson is living for us today. To choose Christ in order to choose life. In order to choose eternal life. Because when we are dead it is we do not have any more choices. So we, ladies and gentlemen, must examine ourselves. Every one of us in this auditorium this afternoon must examine ourselves and ask ourselves this question. Where do I want to spend eternity? Where is my hope? Where do I want to be? Because we have eternity and we have eternal damnation. It is an experience that you do not want to spend eternity away from the presence of God. That, ladies and gentlemen, you do not want to experience, not even for your worst enemy. Sister Jackson, by her life and by her death, is leaving us a legacy to choose Christ and to choose Him today. Let us make that decision. Let us not leave this auditorium today 
without making that decision. I will stand aside at the conclusion of this service. If you don't know how to do that, if you have any doubt in your mind, let us nail it down today. Let us choose Christ and let us choose life for eternity. Let us pray. Thank you, Father, for your word this afternoon. Touch every heart that's in here today as we examine ourselves to be sure that we have a hope. And the only way to have that hope is by choosing you today. Thank you, Father, for the opportunity to choose you and choose life. May that be the choice for all of us today. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen.